Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Stellaris, Newbie Tutorial Redux, I'm your host, Colors Fade, it's episode 14. We're here with our empire in the year 2397. We have a lot more of the map now. We're embroiled in a little war going on with the Raxar Commissariat in the Bernathi Star Realm. You can see up here, Bernathi Star Realm. The Great Wasari Combine, who are now only these two little places that we're kind of sitting on. And we're just trying to... Trying to take the last little bits. Trying to... Our allies in our Federation started this war, and we would like to put an end to it. So that's what we're trying to do. And we have a lot of cities here that need some work. I mean, not cities, planets. So in this case, um, we're down to five housing here. We have lots of housing districts. So we're going to create some more housing. We're a little short on civilian industry, so because we're we're buying a bunch still. And that was because after integrating this faction over here into our empire, all of this space up here was integrated. That creates a, a big demand for consumer goods that previously didn't exist. This place, this. over here this world has all its districts done, it still has quite a bit of housing so we should be able to fully upgrade all these buildings. So when you have that much housing, what you what we want to do is put upgradable buildings down. This one can be upgraded, this one and this one, each one of these can be upgraded to provide a total of 8 jobs. So that's a, a significant upgrade over what they're providing now. This one's providing five, this one's providing two, and two here. <coughs> so that's 12 more jobs between these two buildings. This can be upgraded to provide five more jobs. So that gets you to 17, which is well over half of that. So I'm gonna create this there. This planet is getting close to being done. It's, anytime you start to get over, a, I start to get over a hundred people. It's when I start to think about slowing down my population or, or shifting some people off of it. I can upgrade this building, that building, that building, and that building. There all would be second upgrades to provide eight more jobs. So we do that one. Use as an additional resource. Here's another planet that's getting very close to being done, although it's only at 78 pops. So we'll give them more jobs. This planet has a lot of possibilities for jobs there. This planet has a bunch more food, it also has the food processing facility, that's great, it's another factory style planet. What we're starting to run short on, of course, is rare crystals as always, so we're going to give these guys some crystal plants. This is Hab A, it's a research segment of our research ring, which is really, really nice. So what I want to do is put research labs on it as well. This is our consumer commercial segment ring. So we're going to want to put commercial type stuff on there. This planet is a research world, Copra, and I don't have the designation on there. So I need to put it on there for myself. So let's give them another research lab. This planet, the Pergranin Colony, these are planets we took over, so I'm going to do this and say, we have the mining districts, so we should start putting factories on here, but in addition, let's give them some synthetic crystal plants first, we're just starting to run short on those, so we need to be cognizant of that. This, replace that with mining districts. The computer does this, it, it doesn't wisely use all its districts the right way. This has so many mining districts and so few city districts that I'm tempted to just put luxury housing on here and try to squeeze as many of these mines out as I can. Uh, and I think I might actually do that. 
give it a constant mining too. This planet is just kicking butt. Look at all these factories. It's totally great. But the, the shortcoming there is all these upgrades are going to mean housing and we're already short. So I think we're probably going to need to replace the cryo revitalization center with some luxury housing. In the meantime, this whole planet doesn't have a commercial zone. Every planet gets a commercial zone. We need that trade rolling in. Same thing with this planet. It doesn't have a commercial zone, so we'll give it one. So that takes care of planets. Well, it takes care of some of them. There's still a couple up here. This, again, same kind of deal. It's got three unemployed pops. I'm going to upgrade one of these buildings. These all need the second upgrade. Wow. Okay. Well, second upgrade to go, then. Four unemployed pops here. Not a lot of upgrades we can do here anymore. We're going to start running short of housing on this planet as well. So all of these are really close to being ones where we start to say discourage planetary growth. Same thing here, this planet doesn't have any more housing. So what we can do is replace this with luxury residences. And then uh, we can say here, we can upgrade this to provide jobs and then for a decision we can say, clear population controls, it costs you 25, and the, the immigration push is 100, so we'll spend a little bit of the influence that we have. That's why I don't like to do it, is because it costs that price, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Here's the war situation. Hostile station engaged. This station we're still building up here. Hostile station okay, we'll engaged. Logistics office. This fellow over here, we need to get a, a ship over here to take care of this. I'm not leaving my ship. For, they, they built stuff here last time, so I'm leaving this. This guy's just going to stay parked there. These guys are right there. And they're doing good. <coughs> so. I'm just going to kind of move them around, I think, actually. Let's move them over here. This is the 001 continuity. What do Construction they have? complete. So they've got all, wow, Sigma class outpost. And a bunch of penetrators. <coughs> We picked up another... We can now adopt Harmony. It's the last one we can adopt. So we'll start getting those benefits. This is a trade station. We labeled it as a T3. So we'll do that. And then... Uh, probably put some hangar bays on it in a little bit. I'm not entirely sure yet. Construction complete. Anchorage, what is this? New branch office. Okay, where's this fleet that's fighting? Everybody is kung fu fighting. Oh, what are you guys doing? Outpost Rin Station. Oh no. I wanted you to, uh. Let's retreat. Ships damage 11. Ooh, that was no good. Construction complete. find out where those guys show up. Order restored on one colony. Construction complete. Ships upgraded. Construction complete. Okay, I'm trying to get some of these straggler fleets all together. Construction complete. Our gateway protectors. Station under attack. So, well, let's see what that is. Colonization in progress. Station under attack. 
who, where. Not seeing it. Tell you what, though. You guys, right here. Okay, you all need to join hands. Boy, these guys have been... Bernathy Star Realm. Why don't you come down here and start complete. doing that? So the zero zero one are now considered their fleet powers equivalent, their economic powers pathetic, their technology levels overwhelming, but they're not equal. Ancient Spaceport caretakers. under attack. Construction complete. This is an ancient artificial intelligence. It appears to be operating as a sort of caretaker protocol. It behaves radically. It's gonna awaken <coughs> sometime after twenty four hundred. Not exactly sure when. Maybe twenty four fifty. Not sure, but I know that we want to be ready. Construction complete. For my part in this deal, I'm really hoping that uh, really hoping that my federation here decides it's time. Construction complete. To end this war after all. This is a trade hub. I think I need three levels of trade on this, three modules, because we wanted to collect trade from one, two, three, yep, to get the kite, complete. we gotta go the distance of three, and then one, two, gets it to there, and then uh, one, two, three, get us all the way to there, if we had anything to collect there, but this will start collecting from all of this, and shooting it through wormhole, later on we can shoot it through this gateway over here worry about directing it in the right way. These guys are a little bit of a concern. Zeros are one has at least one mega structure in the system. I should probably what I should do is this is the, these guys can go attack all these other dudes, but Research complete. The the concern is we're going to choke these guys off if they come attack us. Fleet command. That's fantastic. Clone army mega art installation. Oh, uh, let's grab the clone army, I guess. I'm not as worried about the mega art installation. There's too many other mega structures I need to build. I'm thinking, though, I need a choke point right here. I would obviously lose this planet, but um, it's too hard to build a choke point there. Uh, uh, a bastion there and a bastion there and then they can just go right through and be over here so this needs to be a choke point for these guys and we have to start thinking about this stuff and then uh, they also have a wormhole there which comes out here so this place right here is on the other end of a wormhole and having a shipyard here is not helpful so we're gonna upgrade this And then uh, instead of a fleet academy, we're going to have the defense grid supercomputer. We're going to upgrade it and we're going to load it up with defenses. And this is going to be... Construction complete. Let's read it. Yeah, Fallen Empire Station. I want to leave it that way. That's our Fallen Empire on the other side of the wormhole. So we're going to want a fleet there when this whole war with these guys is over. We have to start thinking about that now. We're going to need multiple fleets there probably. And we're going to need a fleet here. So... That's upgrading, and we're gonna call this um, research complete. The Fallen Empire Two Station. Clone Army is done. That was quick. Ship fire rate and command center max. Occupancy garrisons. Might grab that. Gateway constructed in the old. Ojlar's system, so I think that's the one down here. There it is. So it's there. So let's see, that one's completely done. Ojlar's, yeah. There's the gateway, conduit. So what we can do here is look at our trade, which is what I want to do, and this is perfect. This guy should be going uh, right through there. This guy also going right through there, and they're going straight to the capital. So that's fantastic. So that saves us some of that trade. And then um, 
yeah. I like the way that that's all handled. This all comes down and then goes through. It goes through that uh, wormhole, which I'm not sure is the best way to do it. This is going where? Where is this going? What if it goes through there? This goes to where? There. And this goes to where? Oh, it goes straight through that gateway over to there. Okay, great. That's fantastic. Alright, so. If we look at it, we're getting 25,069 trade out of there. People who say trade isn't isn't important just just don't know what they're talking about that's, that's a lot of credits to get through trade that's that's substantial why you wouldn't want that i don't know all right what do we have here oh we don't have any if we don't have commercial zone comes a thing that we build this has the Batharian power plant on it. So it has a whole ton of districts. So what I'm going to do is energy grid and we're going to make these districts. And then uh, I'm not worried about the cryo-revitalization center in there, but I am worried about the fact that they don't have a lot of amenities. So I'm going to switch that out for a whole theater. I don't need them to grow that fast. Same thing here. Place that with the whole theater. And so we have, we're building um, people, food processing facility, I like that. This is another one of these, it's going to be a research world, it is, it's got some research on it. Our research now is at 5k, so that feels pretty good. Where is, oh, where is that at? Right there, it's 29, okay, so he's there. Just grab these systems complete. from our enemies. So now, what else is left for him to do, really? I don't think a lot. I kind of want to send one of these guys back. So who's the big fleet here? He's 110, and this guy here is 200. This is our 200 fleet, complete. the first wave. And I kind of want to get them down to... Uh, Right here. Research complete. So this is Milostamu. And I'm gonna call this something else. I'm just gonna call it the FE system. So we have research that's done. It's all just the five percent at a time thing. So again, shield hit points. We're done with all the physics research. We're getting the penal column. Let's go. Food is maxed out, so we'll sell some food. Hey, what are you guys doing? There you go. Go down there and squash those guys. That'd be great. And then these, uh, this fleet. My big fleet. First wave fleet. We're going to take a look at them real quick. First wave has how many titans scheduled? None. Okay. Add a ship design. To the fleet. A titan is 16. So, in order to make some room, I'd have to get rid of some other ships here. So let's do disband these ships. No leader assigned. I lost my leader because he was on that ship. Hmm, interesting. Alright, I want a Titan. A Yamato class Titan. I'm going to get rid of um, most of these destroyers. I'm going to keep the point defense ones. I'm going to get rid of this frigate. Alright, and I'm going to add another Titan. And then I can add some other ship that cost me four, so... There we go. Alright. So when you guys get to where you need to be... Oh, and we got more alloys again. Okay, well... Hold on. 
at it's going to take a long time to do and bioforge is the place to build it because this is where we have our titan assembly so we're just going to build two titans right here and then we'll move them and they can meet with the hostile fleet engaged there we go that's that fleet I'm gonna have them go down here and squash that. This is the Bernathi Star Room. Hopefully the Bernathi decide complete. that uh, it's time to end the war. Mega art installation. Food processing centers, that's a big upgrade. Ship fire rate, 5%. I'm gonna take that, because that's that's the bonus I want there. Colony established. And now, ring world and tab C, we're gonna make this uh, research as well. So we'll add a research segment, we'll change this to Research Ring World, we'll give them some luxury goods and some planetary growth. Construction complete. So they're on their way. Construction complete. Alright, what do we have here? This star base is... This is a T3, and so we just want to upgrade it and put Anchorage Hostile on it. Hostile fleet engaged. The swarm. <clears throat> oh, good job, guys. Alright. Fix thyself. This was to trade for two pitched game battle. Same thing, Anchorage. This was the T3, so we need three trade hubs. One, two, Anchorage, upgrade, and trade, and all that good stuff. This, FE2, this is going to be our uh, defense. <laughs> so we'll do that. Construction complete. Come down here and say this one is building defense grid supercomputer. As soon as it gets done, in fact, I'm going to move that up, because as soon as it's done, we can start building all these platforms for it. And then, let's take a look at some of our other worlds here. We're short on civilian industries. This place is short on housing. It's like, hey, we're running out. Research complete. And they need a whole theater, because they're just not that happy. I understand. I love movies, too. Naval capacity, thank you. Oh, wait a minute. I was a little fast on the on the gun there. Ascension perks plus one and unity ambitions. Thank you, I'll take that. So that's how you get an, another ascension perk. That's cool. This place here. What do they have? They've got the cons commercial zones. They've got the autochthon monument. They've got the ministry of production. They're boosting food by 15% got everything they need to go so now I just need to look up here and see what we're doing we're doing short on volatile moats oh and they have galactic stock exchange so here we'll replace this with moats and we'll bump that up this planet here needs certain things like a ministry of production Bump the capital up. Give these guys more jobs and more housing. This this planet is is uh, getting close to being done. In fact, uh, I'm going to discourage planetary growth on this one. Zootopia is also getting very very close to needing to be done. We're going to have to just start moving some of these people off of those planets. Research and upgrade building. Culture works are great jobs. Or this, two more gas. Yeah, 111 people in here. This one needs population controls as well. So push the immigration, and that hopefully forces everybody to go to the other planets that we have open. Like the ring world and stuff. Now, I'm not exactly sure that happens. I thought I read something in Dev Diary recently that said uh, the new, the next update's actually going to make that work. 
correctly. So, for instance, you guys need jobs as well. And a little bit more housing. So that plan is done, and we've already declared population controls on that one. We've maxed out money, so let's invest. Do that, that becomes our bank account, basically. Investment banking. So we can't end this war. When are you clowns going to end it? Casus Belli, I guess is how that's pronounced. Okay. Well, you guys might want to put a stop to this. I don't know. What are you going to do? Are we going to have to use some of our influence to claim some places? It's, I don't see how these, uh, these, these guys are getting out of this. <laughs> Oh, and we have maxed out that resource as well. Let's sell some of it. This planet. Construction it's got this. complete. It's got this. Okay, we're going to do a stronghold on it. On the agro world. We'll give it. Construction complete. Some more of that. More, more jobs. Upgrade that planet's capital. This place is going to need more jobs too. Oh, we're out of minerals though. We have to wait a little bit. And what are these guys? Right there. It looks like you've done all you can, boys. We're, uh. What are we waiting on for you guys to crunch these dudes? I don't know, but I want you to go up there. Because this is the next thing we gotta do. Fence grid supercomputer, give that to me next. Construction we need to get complete. ready for the Fallen Empire, that's the big thing. So here these guys complete. are, they don't have a leader. I'm gonna give them him. Because he has whole regeneration. When we deleted those little destroyers, he complete. stopped working for them. Let's see about this Bioforge Prime. They're still building the Titans. Yes, they're still building the Titans. It takes a long time to build those. We'll ship them over to here when they're done. And that'll give us uh, one big fleet. The rest of my fleets are going to start coming complete. home. I think we're done helping our neighbors out here. Second fleet complete. is still there. They're going to hang out there. Third fleet, you guys have done everything you can do over here. I think it's up to our allies now to, to take that out. Complete. So I would rather see you guys come back here to FE. This is the uh, FE station. So your home base can be FE station and also your home base can be FE station. Fallen Empire Station, and we're maxed out on. Well, we're making a lot of, making a lot of those fast, aren't we? Construction complete. That's good. Too bad we can only build one, one mega structure at a time. This needs to be taken again, doesn't it? Construction complete. You guys are all up here. You're all together. You don't have a leader. We'll get you one. See, can I get one that travels fast? Sublight speed plus 10%. Sublight speed. Easy. Yeah. Screw you. How much are you guys? 3.3k. Go down here and sit on this. Don't let them have this back. We grabbed these with claims. These are our claims. We're also going to claim this. Oh, we did. We make that claim. Did we make that claim okay? Oh yeah, we did. It's right there. Oh great. Where's Ovastian? Ovastian? Okay, hold on. Let's look at claims. Let's look this up. Ovase. Ovase. O-V-A. Yes. Where's this one at? Over there? Oh, we don't want to take Ovastian anymore. It's none of our business. Same thing with Edor Vang, none of our business. And this one right here, Gorum, none of our business.
So if we go look at our claims now, we have to wait till the end of the month rolls over, maybe. So, our, oh, and where is Kandara? Let's see. Kandara, where is that at? It's way over here. We don't need that one either. So let us not have that claim. We only have the three claims that we need. There we go. These three claims over here. Great Wasari Combine. <laughs> we can't sue for peace. Construction Because we're not the main attacker. I'm not sure when our allies are going to decide that they've had enough. Okay, we're still... We, we might as well spend a little extra. Not that much extra money. Let's do this. Research complete. Let's do that. We got an extra ascension point. Oh, let's go. We got an extra ascension perk. Cool. Unity ambitions. Unlocks a set of edicts called unity ambitions. They are different from edicts in the sense that they cost unity to use and that the amount is equal to what it would cost to unlock your next tradition. Using a unity ambition will not increase the unity cost for traditions or unity ambitions. Well, then let's take a look at what that is. Fleet command. Then. Let's see what those edicts are. Ooh, unity ambitions. Science, revolution, research speed, plus 20%. Wow, look at those. So when we get done... Oh, see, and I haven't even been using these edicts for war because we've already been kind of squashing people, so... Um, I'm not going to spend anything on any of those right now. But I do want to take a look at our Ascension Perks. So Galactic Contender, now we're here. The Colossus Project with the Planet Killers is kind of fun. Also, Defender of the Galaxy, uh, damage to endgame crisis factions. So I have one more slot that I can unlock, which is going to get unlocked when this happens. And that should be before the endgame crisis comes, so I don't need Defender of the Galaxy just yet. I do want it later, though. Um, so let's see what we have here. Imperial Prerogative. None of those I really care about. Shared Destiny is always nice when you're integrating a lot of people, but Galactic Wonders I kind of wanted. Ring World Matter Decompressor Dyson Sphere. Wow. I want these. I want to try these because I've never done them before. So, our last perk then will be a Defender of the Galaxy. So, a Dyson Sphere. Where would we put that? Where can we put that? I don't think we can do anything right now because we're still upgrading this ruined Ring World there, but, um,. And then there's a mega structure over here that we want to do as well. And this is the one that said Ruined Matter Decompressor. So, if we're looking at that, it said Matter Decompressor and a Dyson Sphere. Construction I'm, complete. I'm really curious about the whole Dyson Sphere thing. I want to see what that does. That could be really fun. This science ship doesn't have a science person on it because I believe a science person died. So, ancient... Anomaly research speed, I don't care about, but he's a half complete. a genius. His speed is plus five, so. Assist with the research at Einstein. This place right here, this is going to be, uh, I'm going to rename this. <coughs> I'm going to rename it to North. Complete. North. Normal. That's where it is. And then what do we want here? Naval Logistics Office always upgrade. Oh, and then the construction complete. Defenses. Yes, 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 yes. So Ion Cannon. There we go. We have what? Timed debris and ancaster track on map. Go to it. Right there. Okay. Where is the nearest science ship? Right here. Oh, my friend. We haven't had any of this during the war. We're also doing this. Synthetic evolution. We're about halfway done. Scientist skill plus 12%. Cyborg. 
genetic materials, all those bonuses, but this is going to make us artificial peoples. And then this, which one is this? T2, yeah, so it just gets anchored the rest of the way for trade, off-world trading, naval logistics office, uh, resource silos. Shield hit points. Now we can unlock the Dyson Sphere and the Matter Decompressor. What's this do? With a bore of twisted gravity tunneling into the singularity in a series of automated matter decompressors, processors, and smelters in orbit, we are able to extract minerals from a black hole. Wow. Well, we don't need to do that because we have one we can just repair. But the Dyson Sphere, a fully operational Dyson Sphere, 100% energy generation efficiency. Oh, yeah. I want to I wanna unlock that. I want to build one. I think that would be... Construction complete. Fantastic fun. Yes. Construction complete. Naval logistics office. Upgrade. Alright, what do we got here? Tradition. Leader lifespan increased by 20 years. I don't care about pops being demoted to a lower stratum. A governing ethics attraction increased by 25%. I'm going to choose that because we had that whole spiritualist thing going on a couple of episodes ago, and I don't want any of that people switching. So, Anchorage, Resource Silos, then we'll start taking care of our worlds again. This world needs some more housing. We can provide that. This world has space. What are we looking at here? We're really short on volatile motes and crystals, so I don't like to put those on these research worlds. This world doesn't have commercial stores. This world is probably going to end up being a factory world. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to give you crystal planes. You are a factory world. Construction more complete. Motes. So, there you go. This world. So here's one thing we can do, and I explained this a couple episodes ago as far as math goes. Here's a situation where we have this research complex is providing five jobs. All these here are providing five jobs. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, if I switch this out with a secondary resource building, I'm going to lose four jobs, but then I can upgrade another one so that you get a net gain of jobs and resources. So in this case, even though it's not the same because this uses gases, I'm uh, I'm loath to do it on any of these research worlds though. I'm just not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. Do that on my factory worlds, that's what they're for. So like this world here. So this has two jobs. Well, and also we can get rid of this. We're gonna swap out the robot assembly for chemical plants. Yeah, because it already has three buildings on here for secondary resources. I don't like to put any more than three. If you do three, you got enough interdimensional trade increase. If you do three, you get enough. Usually for the whole thing, so. What's going on here? This planet. Oh, I see. You need a bunch of jobs. You also need a bunch of housing. Okay. Oh, and we've maxed out. That resource. Construction yeah. complete. So let's sell that. Wow, we really have a lot of food to sell, don't we? It's a lot of food. That means we can sell less of this. Construction Here's complete. Building. Here's another research world. Doesn't have the big fat complete. research thing on it. Yeah, does it? Doesn't have a blocked exchange or a research institute. You need a capital first. I might as well build more housing for that. Same thing with this one down here. These guys need more housing. But this is a factory world, so I don't feel so bad now here about saying I need more crystals on this planet. And also, same thing there. Replace that with crystals. Construction complete. Here's a mining world that's basically done. Complete. We need to turn off population growth on it. Yep, and then what else is on here? 
Alien Zoo. This is our Alien Zoo plane. Pretty good about where that one's at. Same situation here. As these planets start to get done, as far as as population starts to reach 70 plus, I'm of the mind that I want to take the the robots off and start putting on secondary resources that I need. This is too low at this stage in the game to have a plus three and a plus four there. Plus three volatile ones, plus four rare crystals. That's too low. They should all be over ten. Construction complete. This is Hab A Research World. And uh, I want an attack the money. Money, 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 money. Mr. Crab says money, money, money. Construction complete. So this world we're gonna we're gonna do that to give them the job and then population control should kick Construction in. Construction complete. Shouldn't have to worry about that too much more. Here, this planet, this is a research world. We're gonna give them an the monument. Build that unity and then we can use it to uh we can use those edicts. This is fun, look at all that. You can bank all this and then start using these hearts and minds, governing ethics attraction. Ooh. Architectural Renaissance. Wow, mega structure build speed. Ooh, like this. Mega structure build capacity too. Ooh. I definitely want to use that. Ship build speed, defensive war, 100%. Wow, home territory fire rate plus 40%. That's awesome. Um, nefarious acquisition, monthly minerals. Wow, these some of these are really nice. Some of those are really, really nice. That is cool. That is cool. I totally did that. Okay, Fallen Empire Station. Construction now complete. Now I need the command center gives Construction you Construction complete. Exceeding star pace capacity plus twenty five percent. Maps are raised in three D. Ship fire rate plus ten percent. Empire minus twenty five percent cost. Construction complete. I'm not exactly sure what that means. I like this though. Shield hit points minus twenty percent. It's something I always like to get. Command center. Track all space traffic passing through the system in any given time. That's interesting. Ship fire. I'm gonna choose that and see what kind of impact that has on things. Now let's go get our defenses. There we go. Make all of those. <laughs> yeah. Construction complete. Uh, trade hub over here. Nimble six office. Resource size. You guys doing? How are you doing? You getting your defenses made? Yep. Cool. Cause this fallen empire here, boy. Let's see what they got. Ardent security echelon. These guys are spooky looking. They got a battle cruiser, which has got all these shields. So hull hit points four thousand, armor five thousand, shields lots of shields. We're using penetration tech, some armor tech, they've got a tachyon lance, some advanced strike craft, so they've got a good mix of everything and they got shield capacitors. They're really heavy on shields, so we want to be able to beat the snot out of their shields real good. Ring world section restored, excellent. Alright, let's go check that out. Construction complete. Here's our next ring world. Go we'll get the Bioforge Supreme, the Supreme Bioforge Supreme. <laughs> so this Super Bioforge Supremacy. Which what do we have here now? You guys are what? Oh, this natural engineers, natural physicist, traditional with long. These are the guys I've been using. Ab B. Well, there they go. They're gonna build that. So let's go back to here. And the matter decompressor. Let's see about that. I'm gonna need some consumer goods. All right, gentlemen. Start your engines. Let's see. Consumer goods. That's an upgrade there. 
what are we looking at here? Still rare crystals. So by upgrading that one to three more jobs and replacing this with a crystal, we're going to gain, um, we're going to lose some jobs and gain some jobs back and get some crystals. And I'm also going to do that. Yeah, the scientist gained the trait. Ooh, this planet complete. is not happy. This planet needs uh, luxury goods for amenities, and then we'll give them some hole with you. Fleet command limit, or edict duration, plus 10, I like that. Assault army damage, and assault army morale. Let's grab that. The Habs. The Habs, and the Habs not. It's a really bad joke, I know. Oh, let's see. Food processing facilities. What all are they building? These things provide <coughs> trade value. Artisans turn minerals into consumer goods, and clerks produce trade value. Wow, so. That, that's cool. The Habs are cool. Hab C. Same thing, let's get you some. Uh, Robot assembly place. Now, Hab C is going to be research. Let's see, Hab B is consumers. Hab A is also research. So, let's see. And then what? Oh, and we're in the middle of colonizing Hab D. Okay. Let's take a look at our species for a sec. First of all, I'll make sure everybody's on the same page. These guys, these guys right here, you've got some in your flock who are not on the same page. Let's apply that template to everybody. Situation log updated. It's only going to take a month to research that and finish that. So that'll happen. We've got a straggler over here, a straggler over here. The humans are good, except for they have a big old negative, so... Pop growth from immigration and resettlement costs. So I'm going to take this and create a template for these guys. Oh, I can't... Cost minus one. So I can't change that. Nomadic. Leader level kept. Cannot remove beneficial traits. Not enough trait points to remove that. Interesting. Okay, so I can't fix those guys. They're just flawed. That's what they are. Keep going. Construction this, complete. We're going to do these guys next. The racks are. There's a bunch of them. Species there modified. And we're going to take this and apply that to all those people. Situation log it's updated. Three months for that one. And then I wanted to look at our robots and see. Uh, Research complete. Create a template for them. What do we have here? Pop housing usage. Domestic protocols. Do I have some logic engines? That's what I want. Okay, so what do we have here? Cost from Unity. Robot upkeep. Minerals from jobs. I'm going to take that down and I'm going to choose this other one. Logic engines. Yeah. Okay, and I still got a point for something else. Oh. Um leader experience game. Let's choose them. These are going to be robot scientists. Yeah, we're going to create that template. We're going to put those guys on research planets when we have the opportunity to do it. The Dyson Sphere is unlocked. Oh, great. Um, we might as well unlock that one over here even though we can do it. Unspent trait points. Yes, we know. Okay, so we need to upgrade the uh, robot miners and robot farmers as well. So they have an extra trait point. We can make housing better. We can make them faster or leader experience gain. I like that. Let's create that template. Robot farmer, robot farmer, robot miner. Leader experience can create that template and the fast robot. What do we want to give him? Not minerals from jobs, not food. Those all cost two. Three for resources from jobs. 
it's just he's fast and his upkeep doesn't exist. So what about the housing one? Or unity from jobs? Yes, let's okay. choose that. Oh, he has a bunch of traits left. Yes. Hot assembly cost minus 20%. So if we reduce... How much does this one cost? Two? Oh my goodness. So unity from jobs. Speed is 15%. Upkeep is 10 And pop assembly cost minus 20 Let's create that. That's our new fast robot. Okay, we'll apply all of those when we get done with the current group. Construction complete. Okay, moats, 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 crystals. And they got a bunch of jobs that they need, don't they? Yep. Is that give them a bunch of quick jobs doing that? Mizar. This planet is getting closer and closer to being done as well. Give them three more jobs by doing Construction that. Construction complete. Species modified. Okay, species modified. Let's go over here. Let's look at our robots. <clears throat> what are all these guys here? Ufari. They like alpine worlds. Well, we'll fix that. The fancy robot farmers. Apply that template to anywhere that has robot farmers. Farms, farms, that's what the F is for. Farms, farms, farms. And farms, farms, farms. More farms. To robot miners on farm systems. They can keep those if it's both of those, but here it's farm, farm. That template. Situation log updated. That's for those guys. I'll take care of them. robot farmers. Should probably run down. Construction complete. Let's see who's actually making robots. Make the better, fast robots. You guys make the better fast robots. Construction complete. Traders steer clear of game wars. Research complete. Let's Construction see. complete. Assault. Oh, mega art installation. Okay. We don't really need a star base capacity. Plus one, I'm grabbing that. These guys are what? Making the fast robots. Make the fast robots. The good fast robots. You guys make the good fast robots. Kind of wish I could just do this on a global level. Just say every single time, build the fast robots because then we'll apply templates to them later. This planet, look at it. Thing of beauty, it's got. That and then I talk the monument and that and it's got that for the mining. So it's pretty good. In progress. Just doesn't have a lot of. It doesn't have a lot of. Uh, it doesn't have a lot of housing for all these upgrades, but. Construction complete. It will probably be okay. Construction complete. This planet needs the. Oh, it already has it. Mineral purification. See, here's the military academy. Army starting experience plus one hundred. You need to start putting these on a couple of planets and deciding which planets those are going to be that where I can build armies from. How are we doing up here? Still short moats and crystals. Has consumer goods on it. I guess. Let's keep doing this. Though. 
great guy. This is one of those neat planets where it's got, it's got so many mining districts and not a lot of total districts. You feel like you should just use all this and use some luxury housing. And I still might do that. New Pelob. This one is really a food foodish planet. It should have the foodish stuff on it. Food processing. Construction so, complete. Bioforge. All right. So something that I don't like about this setup here. Construction complete. What do we have going on in this planet? It's our home world. I'm gonna put a planetary construction complete in there. I, I probably shouldn't have built this gateway here. I probably should have built it one system over. That way, in the system where you actually have the gateway, you can build uh, a defense platform. And then over here we can keep our shipyard. I probably should have done that. Now what I'd have to do is kind of reverse this. I'd have to take this and, uh, and uh, make this a defense platform and build a shipyard next to it. So we're gonna we're gonna see if we can survive with the the way things are. Construction complete. Are these guys dead yet? We're still embroiled in this war. I can't believe it's not over. Or with the Rexar Commissariat. Hmm. Construction complete. Who who has control of this planet here? Bio Forward Supremacy, we do. <coughs> yes, you big monkeys. Insult, sue for peace. It's Construction got me embroiled complete. in this war, and it's not coming to an end. Rexar, come see. Construction complete. At war, ally. Only way to handle that might be to leave my federation. Construction complete. I hate to have to do that, but it's kind of driving me nuts. Galactic Stock Exchange. This planet has got a lot going on here. Let's see. What else we do? Oh, we still need moats, but now we're up to 10 crystals. That's nice. This planet is done, and there's the population growth. So we want, what we need to do is resettle some people. We could resettle a few to uh, one of the Habs, Hab C. Where do we have? We got an unemployed worker. And then we could move like a fast robot. That'd be good. have to do that with some of these plants. Construction complete. Construction complete. See, like, here's Bioforge Prime. It's got five... Five people unemployed. Wow, I'm gonna resettle all of them. Ab C. Interdimensional trade decreases. All your specialists, and yeah, you, now you have a an administrator. Construction but. complete. Oh, who died? A scientist died. A flag waving person. Here, you can do that job. Now. Okay, let's start recruiting. Oh, hey, look. I got that person, and this one also, what are you doing? Where are you at? Oh, you did this system. Cool. Oh, you're just over there hanging out. You did uh, some debris or something, I think. 
So let's see. She's doing the flag waving for star base capacity, but it's not flag waving, it's new worlds. Okay. We're still busy with the synthetic evolution tech project. Construction complete. This finishes in 20 months. We've established colony have been in the cyber exceptions. Yes, okay, great. Construction have complete. Been. What? Construction complete. Did I misname something? Yeah, I did. Because we got have B, have A, but it's, it's in this one. Here, it's supposed to be have D, you big dummy. And uh, let's just do this. Let's do. We're going to have two research ones and two commercial ones. Let's do that. So you can be a commercial ring one. We'll get you, what is this? Pop amenity usage reduced by 10%. We're going to take that. Let's see what that looks like at the end of the month. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. <laughs> it didn't change that much, did it? What is this? You have no complete. orders. Oh, you're the one that was in that system grabbing that stuff. Okay. Um, you can go to here. Both Kapira. <laughs> I'm really surprised that this fallen empire hasn't like research complete contacted us at all. Matter decompression, great. All right, shield hit points. A large black hole, and we're doing this ruined matter decompression there. So, all right. Well, Jesus. Already been an hour. Time, time flies when. Sorry about that noise. Time flies when you're having fun, folks. So, um, as always, if you guys dig the channel, please subscribe. And if you have a question or comment, drop it down below. If you like the video, hit the like button. I appreciate all the likes. I appreciate all the subs. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.